In this video, I'm going to show you the best test combination to rule out a slap lesion. Hi and welcome back to Physio Tutors. According to a study done by Schlechter et al. in the year 2009, a combination of the active compression test and the passive distraction test yields a positive likelihood ratio of 7.0 for two positive tests and a negative likelihood ratio of 0.33 for two negative tests. This test cluster therefore has a moderate clinical value to confirm or rule out slap lesions. To perform the active compression test, have your patient standing with his affected shoulder flexed to 90 degrees and about 10 to 15 degrees of horizontal adduction. First, have your patient resist extension with his shoulder in internal rotation and then test the same position with maximal external rotation. This test is positive if the first position with internal rotation is more provocative than the second position. To perform this test, have your patient in supine lying position at the edge of the table. Then elevate the affected arm to 150 degrees in the coronal plane with the elbow in extension and the forearm in supination and the upper arm stabilized to prevent humeral rotation. Then gently pronate the forearm. This test is considered positive if pain is reported deep inside the glenohumeral joint, either anteriorly or posteriorly. Alright, I hope this test combination is useful to you. If this is the case, give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't and follow us on various social media. This was Kai for Physio Tutors. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.